The new CSGO update was without a doubt a huge step towards improving what is most definitely the most played part of the game, competitive matchmaking. But after playing more than a few matches, there seems to be some concerns right off the bat for me. And today, I want to talk about my personal experience of the new update after going from Gold Nova 2 to Legendary Eagle Master in NA after my placement win. So as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Help me get to 50k subs. And just before we get into it, check out this quick pre-roll from the sponsor Skins Monkey on how to get a free $5 trading your CSGO skins. Hi you, yes you. Would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. Okay, so let me first talk about my thoughts about the new ranking system and how it seems to be unbalanced, specifically in NA. Obviously, I can't speak for the rest of the world. Let me just talk about how rewarding this new system is. I once again went from Gold Nova 2 to Legendary Eagle Master, the third highest rank in the game. Now, I'd say this is fair and at least where I deserve since I have like 6,000 hours, I'd hope I deserve to be one of the top ranks in the game. But this is where things get interesting. When I have a friend of mine that was also in the low gold Novas that I played with a lot, but his stats were a lot worse than mine, 0.62 average KD, 57 average ADR, and he gets ranked up all the way to MGE, it's like... Hold up, wait a second, what is happening here? There's a bit of a disconnect here. What exactly did Valve base this update on? Because it definitely wasn't stats. Just games won versus lost? Well, that doesn't really make a ton of sense either. This guy I'm showing only has a 52% win rate. So is that really what it's based off of? I have no idea, and if so, how bad are players at lower ranks in CSGO now? Like, is it actually going to be exclusive new players in the silver and gold Nova lobbies? Like, presumably it should be. Sure, that'd be great, but it could also lead to a lot of issues at higher ranks, and definitely has for me already. My first game on this new update was great. Two of my teammates said they were pretty deep into Face It level 10 and exclusively played Face It. One of them had 4,000 hours, and those are the type of teammates I'm expecting to have in an LEM level to Supreme level, which is what that lobby was. You can tell it was good because I averaged like 160 ADR in MM games before this update, and I don't even think I got like 70 in this one. Like, the players were really good. And even a few games after that, games were also great. I queued up with two globals and two supreme. And we ended up playing this guy named Cam. He is rank S on ESEA. He has made ECL playoffs with Bad News Bears. He is literally one of the best players in the region. Obviously, somebody you should be playing against at a global elite and supreme level. But after that, things kind of went downhill. I played two games today, duo queuing with my friend that is supreme, and they both just went absolutely awful. In this most recent game I played on Dust2, I literally abandoned this game by the way, you can just see by the profile ranks and the lack of badges that this one guy has, it's like, this is a brand new account this guy is playing on. How the hell is this guy at an LEM to Supreme lobby? Like, that shouldn't even be possible at all with a new account like his. And I'm not just saying that because he's going negative, I went negative too, but just the entire game, everyone was just lost, like mentally, like nobody had any clue what was going on, nobody talked, there was two guys without mics, no one knew how to take long on dust too, and how to fight and flash long normally. Just incredibly basic stuff like that, and once again, this is like the second highest rank in the game that I'm playing with, so why exactly are the teammates completely lost? How am I going from playing a rank ass player who was playing with Steel, Sick, Vanity, and Voltage on Chaos two years ago to playing with Banana Man and Chris Gen who are giving me high blood pressure on DE underscore Dust 2 because nobody knows what a grenade is or how the hell to throw one like a normal human being. The one slight disconnect I would say with this update, my only real gripe around it is that there's randomly players that don't deserve extremely high ranks at extremely high ranks. Now, I'm sure this will fix itself over time as obviously they should start to derank and get to their proper level if they keep getting put in matches like the ones I've gotten, but these first few weeks could be rough, at least from my experience. But at the end of the day, I'm just one person. It could be completely different for you guys. 
I've seen a ton of comments from, I presume, people in NA saying their situation is similar to mine, like around that Gold Nova Master Guardian level prior to the update to like LE, LEM, stuff like that. I had a friend who was MG1 get to Global Elite off this update. So now let me just say, I know what ranks you guys have gotten to, but let me know, what is the quality of the games like? Does it feel like you're in a spot you should be at? Are the players way better than you? Are they way worse than you? Are they somewhere in the middle or the games kind of fair with some outliers and some really like weird teammates that just shouldn't be at that level let me know in the comments but yeah besides all that i think that is gonna wrap it up for this video so as always if you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course check out skins monkey with that link in the description as well but for now i'll see you guys in the next one peace